yeah. in South Africa. Yeah. Uh, match. Next week, uh, what do you think about the, the next match against Argentina? Yeah, uh, we knew Argentina as a chance to win the rugby championships and we knew that they were going to try and score five tries and get 30 more tries than us. Um, yeah, they really brought it to us. Uh, we expected that. We handled it well initially, but then when we got the yellow card, we, you know, we got a little bit loose and they got two, three tries. Uh, so yes, we're on the same flight back home. Uh, it's going to be a very tough match at Mobile. Sí, espera un partido duro también como el de hoy allá en Sudáfrica, pues hay que también tiene chance de, de, de poder ganar con el bonus all right um, I'm sure you're gonna plan for this I mean that you were expecting you know to win the game but uh, the, the plan that you actually had did that work out even though you lost I mean did you do the things that you were expected to do and then as you just played better no I think I didn't took their chances uh, we certainly I mean uh, 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 must kick at the end could have, could have, we could have had smiles here, but it wasn't down. If if we did many other things better, it wouldn't have come down to one point, uh, one kick. So uh, overall, there's not obviously the kicking we have to work on, but then uh, yeah, there were other our lineup didn't function really well today, and Argentina was very clever in how they made the game very loose, uh, which is well done by them. Can I ask one more question? Yes, yeah, you're welcome. All right, now what's going to be? For this week, are you going to work on just techniques and plan for this next game, or are you going to work on the on the emotions of these players, of your players? No, I don't think there was a uh, problem with the emotions. Uh, I, we respect Argentina for the sense that you know uh, we very much see the people of Argentina was very similar to South Africa. We see the passion very similar to the people of South Africa, and um, we knew that they. You know, you play with passion and with pride and make it very personal and they do. So uh, I don't think that lack of other teams out there. I think both teams showed a lot of passion. Uh, so now I think it will come down to uh, the right side of things, the tactical side of things that we will work on. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. Thanks, Zina. Thanks, Rashi. Thanks, uh, Um Rashi, uh, does this result impact on your selection plans for next week, or are you going to stick to the plans that you originally had for the Nels Great game? Um, yeah, uh, no, it will definitely. Uh, no, the, the guys who was rested uh, will definitely come in, into the mix. Uh, would have been lovely to win this game. Obviously, we 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 wanted to win this game. We knew we were taking a bit, bit of a gamble with uh, leaving seven guys at home, uh, but uh, yeah. I mean, the loss is, is not nice and we, uh, we feel sad about that. Uh, but then I don't want to say lessons learned because that's an old cliche. But uh, for some of the younger guys to experience this stadium, Argentinian support and the way Argentina loosens up the game uh, in the future, maybe next time when they're here, they would know how it feels. I think there's five or six guys who hasn't played here before. And um, yeah, they will now know next time what we mean when we say it's brutal when you come here. And um, yes, but definitely we will, uh, those guys will come back into the mix like we planned beforehand. Ronaldo? Hey guys, I've got Rashi. Question for you quickly. Um, I mean, we had an amazing start. We were up 17 zip um, up until about 20 minutes. and. A massive game momentum shift there. I mean, what would you say was was the main reason for us um, not continuing with that momentum in the game? Yeah, well, the, the, no, we did start well. I, I'm always nervous of games when we start so well. Um, we tend to be a team that grinds it back from when we're behind. But uh, no, you, you're right there. We, we should have uh, put them away there. Unfortunately, we got the yellow card. They really exploited that really well and got outside our, our, our defence a lot. Uh, when Kirtley was off for those 10 minutes and I think they scored two tries in, in that in that spell if I'm if I'm correct uh, so I think that was the momentum shift but no excuses in the second half we were 15 men and yeah it was a close battled game and look um, we never saw ourselves here as the as the favorites because we did uh, leave a couple of guys back home and wanted a few guys to experience, but we desperately wanted to win. Uh, but then in the same breath, you know, uh, Argentina must just get compliments for that. They, they deserve to win, even if money 
kicked it over and they you know we still think they played better on the day than us um, and yes it's going to be interesting uh, uh, it's nice pressure again now there's a lot of things we could have achieved today but uh, now it moves over to Bombela and, and we have to do it there. Francois? Hi, hi Rashi, hi Samar. Um, Rashi, just uh, uh, any words of consolation that you had for, for, for Mali uh, and, 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 and what were they? Uh, especially knowing South, South African fans can be quite tough uh, on, on players uh, when we make a mistake which, uh, when it's in a high pressure situation. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. Um, I, I was really not not just for for us winning the game, for for him personally. I I was so hoping he kicked that kicked over. He kicked really well the whole week and kicked so well at warm up. He, he slaughtered everything, uh, but it's pressure, um, you know. Uh, uh, but again, I don't think the game should have gone down to the wire of one one man kicking it over. Uh, there was lots of opportunities where we uh, lost the ball in lineouts, and uh, just when we were inside the 22, you know, we would give away a penalty. Uh, there's, we didn't. There was not a great display by, by us. So um, yeah, um, he'll, he'll get a lot of flack. We all know that. Uh, he'll, he'll, have, he'll have to find a way to to manage that, and and I'm sure we'll all get a lot of flack for for him missing that kick. But um, it's definitely not. It, it shouldn't have been on the last kick for us to win the game. We should have done it uh, much earlier. Lita? Thanks, Rasi. Thank you, Z. Um, hi, Ras. Hi, Salman. Um, just, uh, Rasi, um, the, the, this would also be a learning curve for the guys. Um, it's, it's, it's something that in the past couple of games you you won the situation but now you've lost the situation that that you've been in where you've been behind and you were chasing the game so this would this would also be something of a learning curve for the guys yeah i know i think you're right but i do know that so african public and media and, and people don't like to say re lessons learned you know you mustn't learn your lessons at springbok level but uh, that that was obviously we wanted to win uh, uh, but yes, we uh, also wanted some guys to experience Argentina uh, away from home. Uh, with, you know, they're very passionate. They, uh, they're a lot, lot like South Africa. There's also a lot of heart and, and, and soul going into the game. And uh, we've got a lot of respect for that. And, and there was a few players that never experienced that since Super Rugby is gone. And for Argentina not to have even a provincial competition where they play in, uh, what uh, Filippo with his team does, I mean, they beat the All Blacks without even getting a bonus point. They smashed Australia by 60 points. Uh, he's getting them really tight as Argentinians. And uh, yeah, they sure Ben Jason and uh, uh, Jan Hendrik and Elrich and a couple of guys who would have felt these guys for the first time and um, Ruan and so on. But uh, yeah, <laughs> lessons, lessons to be learned. But also, the game could have been won, uh, even though we made a lot of errors. Uh, I don't see any further hands, so I'm going to pop a question to Salman. Uh, Salman, just your thoughts on the game? Um, yeah, I, I, I thought for, for, for large parts of the game, uh, especially at the start, we did really well. We put them under pressure and then obviously we got the yellow card and then um, we, yeah, we, took our, we took our foot off the pedal. Uh, as, 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 as the cliche goes, but it just wasn't good enough. Uh, a lot of credit needs to go to Argentina. Uh, they, they are quality side and especially at home. They, if we're not going to be on our game, they will punish us. So uh, well done to them. Um, yeah, uh, we'll, 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 we'll have a hard look at ourselves and then we'll, we'll do everything we can to fix it. Yeah. Thank you, Zina. Sorry, just a quick one, Rashi. Is there any injuries that we couldn't see from the television? Um, no, there was just blood to, to Ruan. Uh, that, that, that's an interesting thing. We didn't have any injuries. No, all the subs that were made were trying to uh, swing the momentum of the game. So none were made for, for injuries. Um, guys, we've got five minutes left. So um, we're going to go with Ross and then Leeton. I'm assuming you are for cards. Thanks, you know, how's, how's it, guys? Um, Rossi, obviously, um, once everyone sort of gets over the disappointment of it all, uh, it really has sort of set up quite a grandstand finish in Mbombela next week. Um, 
I think 2022 against the All Blacks, it was an absolute cauldron there and a fantastic result. So do you think it's it might actually be a fitting end to the rugby championship when you think that Gibbon will likely be breaking uh, Victor's record, uh, cap record there, and uh, you know we can uh, win the championship in front of a very passionate crowd in Mbombela? I think that's a positive, putting a positive spin on it, definitely, but uh, we'll have to get over tonight. It, it, it hurts a lot, I must be honest with you, um, and I'm sure the South African people feel the same. Uh, and yeah, we, we have to point the fingers at ourselves. I'm not just talking players, I'm talking coaches as well, um, the whole management. And um, yes, uh, you know, next week we, we've got a chance to redeem and, and try and, and finish it and win the rugby championship. Uh, but it um, doesn't make tonight easier. Uh, uh, but uh, there's something going on here. Argentinian rugby with Contepomi, uh, Filippo, and, and his team. That's uh, you know they they really becoming a, a without even having a competition. They play in, in the rugby championship, but apart from that, they don't even have a club competition where they play. And he's picking his players from all over the world, and he's getting all that input from French rugby, Irish rugby, English rugby, and and he's a really smart coach. So yes, uh, compliments to them. Uh, but yeah, next week will be big and will be great. Uh, but tonight was yeah, we, we must get over tonight first. Later. Rasm, net net in Afrikaans alsjeblieft. Um, the 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 pot. Voor en toe lijkt nou alsof dit uh, dis, dis een moed wen in Bombela. Um, net, net wat verwacht jullie in termen van Argentinië wat oorkom nou um, Zuid-Afrika toe? Jullie moet aanpas in Argentinië, jullie moet aanpas in Zuid-Afrika as jullie oorkom. Maar wat verwacht jullie daar? Ja, oké, okay, hulle vlieg saam met ons, ons is nou op die charter vlieg saam met hulle, so ons klim nou saam op die vliegtuig, en dan vlieg ons recht uit van hier af na uh, Mombella toe. So, uh, um, nee, het is <laughs> altyd, altyd uh, weer een gevoel, wen of verloor, ons vlieg altyd so saam oor, saam met hulle. So, uh, nee, um, kijk, daar da, da gaan nie uh, enige, uh, hoe kan ek sê, uh, voordeel vir iemand wees, want ons sit die daar en wacht vir hulle, het was een baie warm, warm dag hier gewees, maar hulle het ook die warmte en die hitte gevoel en ja, Mobella is, is, is het lekker geest, is, is lekker om te speel ons het goed gedoen tegen die All Blacks maar ja, hierdie is nou opgezet vir een rarige hamdinger en, en, en een baie baie groot game vir ons om die rugby championship te win ek dink, uh, hulle moet ons win met vijf, met vijf punte en ons moet nie een bonuspunt kry nie vir hulle om die rugby championship te win so, um, en ek dink hulle die heel tijd so gegloe die manier dat hulle gespeel het en jy kon nie sien waar hulle drie druk, hulle het gekyk vir die bonuspunt en uh, ja, ek dink hulle het alles gegooi wat hulle kon na ons in die game en hulle het, hulle het positief in die andere kant uitgekom Ashfaq? Hi guys, uh, uh, Ras, uh, I guess uh, your focus is still on the title for next weekend, but just looking further afield, uh, did you get some answers on some players tonight, or is it too early to say, oh, this guy didn't perform, so he's not part of the plans, because you uh, still want to build and build these guys, uh, you know, being able to handle such pressure situations? Yeah, well, the, this is how, one, how the, the younger guys learn to, to handle these pressure situations. Uh, I think we kept 11 players last week that is, is new into our system. Uh, 11 of them got caps um, there at the Cape Town Stadium. And there were certainly a few of them today. Uh, I think Anna Hendrik, he only played 10 minutes, but I think he really played well when he came on. Um, yeah, Elrich, Elrich always brings something to the party. Uh, I, I think uh, uh, Ruan uh, really in the lineups today, they contested well. That will be a learning curve for him with the way they contested totally different than, than the other countries. So uh, in all areas, I think yeah, um, Ian Lukanyu playing 12, Jesse playing 13. Um, and But you know, the tries were scored when we were man down. Um, and then your, your defensive, especially if you've got to lose a wing, uh, that happened to us in, in the World Cup final as well, then it's really, really tough to, to defend uh, the way we want to defend because you short a number. So, um, yes, it will be a learning curve, but there was an, a, a, enough older guys on the pitch uh, to, to could have settled the nerves. Not the nerves, the how do we turn the momentum, uh, and we couldn't, and that's something we have to work on. 
Uh, guys, we've got to catch a flight, so we'll take the last question from Justin. Thank you, Hi, Rafi. Hi, Koman. Rafi, we are here in Afrikaans. We have met the Terleestelling van die Bokke and van die Span, natuurlijk na die Nederlag in Argentinië. Ja, nee, dat is dat is erg. Dat is dat is slecht. En dan hou hou voel hartzeer in in een beetje schaam. Je weet, en dat is mensen willen zeggen, ze zijn maar niet die één kop wordt geskopt. En ons allemaal gezet in smal zien. Ons wil zeggen, ons de klomp jong ouders wordt gebracht. En je weet dat lessen geleerd. En je weet, maar niet dat ze confidence terug of wat ook al. Maar dat heeft er nog niet gebeurd. Er was nog niet die sprookjes zijn er niet. Zo, dat is maar niet. Ons moet het nog op. Je hebt onze scoutjes ook. Mooi gaan denk, maar ons gaan nie ophou om om ons bloot te stel. So as ek gesê het, ons gaan een paar toetsen hier en daar verloor. Maar hier was een slechte een om te verloor, want ons het ons selfs nooit gesien as die as die as die 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 ginsling in die wedstrijd nie. Jy is omdat ons sewe van die mannen by die huis geloos het en ons spiekie geëxperimenteer het, het ons gedink ons is in vir die game en dit is precies wat gebeur het. So ja, De leerstelling is groot, maar ek weet, mense wil nie dit hoor, jylle wil net weer een wend volgende week sien, en dit is wat ons gaan probeer om dit doen. Thank you. Thank you, Saman. Thank you, Rassi. Thank you, Jylle. Thank you, everybody. We'll be sending out the recording shortly, as well as the Mixone interviews. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, Zee. Bye-bye.